Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simple Tarot. Okay, this is going to be um, basically what's the vibe of the day? You know, what's the, this daily spiel for today? Or for days because, you know, these are timeless, so it doesn't have to be for today. Okay, Three of Wands, but I want you to look at that. That's shining your light, allowing others to see who you truly are. That's not being afraid of showing your true self. So that's going to take you far, and you need to remember that. You need to be aware that hiding who you truly are is not really getting you anywhere. Uh, Ten of Swords. That's painful. But that is acupuncture. So, you know, if they if they do it right, it's not supposed to be painful. So, I feel like that um, you've had a lot of pain in your life. But now, it's like you became able to handle it. And also, I feel like you've grown from it. And that's why it's, it's good for you to show who you truly are and where things have taken you. Um, also, someone may be getting some sort of medical treatment. And I feel like that um, whoever you are, this is some medical treatment that's that's pretty far out there. Uh, you need to read about it. You need to uh, speak to other people who's had it done, you know, uh, before actually just jumping into it. There could be side effects. Okay, now get, let's get back to, you know, this person who's got this pain, but they weren't to handle it. And now, you know, they need to show who they truly are. They need to be honest about what's happened to them and, and how they've handled it thus far. Tell me. Cups, four chances. Okay. I feel like whoever you are, you were in a relationship. That's terrifying. Could have been a marriage relationship, nevertheless. This person was very lazy. This was someone who, um, I feel like they were a narcissist. I feel like they were someone who, you know, they just kind of laid around, sat around, done what they wanted, and um, they hurt you. I feel like a lot of the pain was mental, um, but for some it could have been um, physical as well. But I feel like that there was a lot of mental pain and mental anguish. This could have been a marriage. Um, this could have been a long relationship. There could have been children involved as well, or there could be. Um, <clears throat> I feel like that this is something that uh, you're shutting the door on this relationship. You know, you, you have either left this person or you're in separation or you are about to be. You know, this is starting over. Tens are a completion and starting fresh. Um, you know, fives, that's a lot of change you're going through. But I feel like with this card right here, you've shut that door on this person. They're trying to get back in. They're trying to change things with you. That doesn't mean changing themselves. I feel like sometimes you feel like you're drowning. You're drowning, you know. It's like you need to show everyone who you truly are and what has truly happened to you. But I feel like you're fearful of this person. Um, I do feel like that... Being honest about what has happened to you is going to help you going forward. Um, I feel like sometimes that you feel like you may be drowning. You know, you, you're not, but you feel it. You feel like it. Because there's so much, so much that has went on with this person. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, for someone, it was more than, um, I'm not seeing physical as in, like hitting or anything like that but i'm seeing where um a female a feminine is being put well yanked into what looks like a closet or something someplace dark and it's like there's one of those slide locks and you know it's not like they're locked away for Ever. This is like a punishment or such. So someone is is feeling like they're, you know, they've been through a lot. So I, I don't know who this is, but 
the the masculine energy now does that mean it's a, a male no it does not it could you know we all have masculine and feminine energy but i do feel like that the i'm getting really clear that the person being locked away is feminine um a female it feels like a female um so yeah Oh my goodness. And it's it's like it's punishment. It's like being locked in a room or a dark area. It just looks dark to me. Um, but there is one of the like slot locks or such. The truth needs to come out. The truth needs to be told. Um, people need to know what you went through. Uh, whether you are the person going through, you know, that sense of mental and physical abuse or whether you are someone else who is going through um some other because i feel like this is going to be for a lot of people you know if you're holding it back and holding it in i feel like it's only going to hurt you you need to tell your story you need to tell your truth and that truth is what you know is going to keep you going forward um this person doesn't want you to do that you know they want to uh, come back into your life they want to open that door that is shut and i feel like um, for some of you this could be a, a marriage it could very well be but doesn't have to be um but you, you definitely shut the door on this person they're going to use pity they're going to use health or pity or uh such and um to try to get back in your good graces you know it's it's like they don't want everyone to see them for the person they truly are yeah see is very negative this person is very negative this ain't gonna be for everyone you know i like the comments but if a reading's not for you just just leave it you know um yeah because it, this ain't gonna hit everyone it's it's just not tell me person's out of balance um they think their truth is the truth when their truth is it feels like um only what they want to say they're very um childish very childish we get the empress here because you took back control as long as you don't give back control see you're 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 ready for your wish come true um, this person, um, for some of you, they may even be locked away. They may be in jail for what they've done. Um, they've hurt you badly. But this, this relationship has ended. It's definitely ended. I feel like that, you know, you started doing you. You started following your intuition. You do need to speak your, your truth. Yeah. Yeah working on what you need to work on for you going forward don't allow this person to play your emotions and try to just run right back into your life um if they are a soulmate many soulmates are here to teach us lessons um you know i feel like they may be trying to befriend you you're trying to do your thing you're trying to manifest what you want and they may be using children or if you have children with them, you're not, not all of you are going to. Um, but they're, it's like they're using the past. They're using old memories. You know, you got like, there's like these handful of good memories. But you have to add up the bad memories as well. Something to remember. Um, yeah. They feel so like, oh my goodness, it's all on me. And they look back and blah, 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 blah. You see it, the truth. You you have taken control. You're being you. You're doing you. And you found your own strength. After the abandonment and the pain and the hurt from this person. You know, you've started your own thing. Yeah, there's that world card. Yeah. And then it's like they want to come back. And oh my goodness, you know. Uh -uh. I feel like it's not going to happen. I feel like you, you know, you if and if you do... <laughs> Call out to you better make sure that 
they're not playing you. Um, because they totally feel like a player or a, a game player or someone who's very lazy and narcissistic and likes to just allow you to just do it all, you know. Take care of me. Do it all, you know. Just let me just sit around and do nothing. That's got that feeling to it. So I would think, I would think, you know, before you just um, allow someone like that to just come moseying on back into your life after they done you dirty and you finally got rid of them, or you're going to get rid of them. And um, if you haven't, you know, taken uh, control of your life and you're allowing someone to treat you poorly <laughs> like that, maybe it's time to think about what's best for you. Yeah. Um, you know, don't allow the narcissist to make you feel as though everything's your fault when you're doing nothing wrong. And they are. Yeah. So this is what I've got for you. You know, I feel like um, going forward, I would definitely look before I leap. And where this person's concerned, you know, they're, they're going to fight below the belt, it feels like. They're going to be throwing blows that uh, they may be talking, they may be, you know, um, conversing with people who they feel like can... That'll believe them. But I'm going to tell you, what you show, that shows the true you. People will know more than you think. They feel like they're getting the upper hand, but people will know what they've seen. And I feel like a lot of people seen, or they will, how this person's treated you. I also feel like that, you know, you've learned to deal with pain, but on the same hand, sometimes you just, you know, you need to allow yourself to feel, even when you're numb. So, going forward, I feel like, you know, slow down. Allow yourself to feel before you leap or walk forward and um, I feel like this has or is ending and better awaits. A brighter tomorrow is, you know, it feels like in the ahead for you. Till next time. Bye.